What we sought was an artistic piece that would be an appropriate and permanent tribute to the women and men whose effort and sacrifice contributed so much to Irish freedom. That would be a symbol that would also serve as an inspiration towards realising the promise of a real republic. I hope that what we have achieved with this commemorative work will be a fitting tribute to the memory and vision, the signatories of the proclamation, but also all those who stood with them. Rachel Joint is such a gifted artist. We were familiar with her work for many years, but her idea captured beautifully what we'd asked for. I so commend you, Rachel, for this wonderful piece, and I thank you, and I salute Inda Wiley, a fellow poet, for her contribution to this work. I congratulate you both on what you have achieved. In regard to the Barcon and any of the people's acorn, suffice it to say that in our opinion, it is truly beautiful. Given its symbolism, it is highly appropriate that Rachel chose to involve hundreds of citizens, young and old, in the execution of her plan and gave them the opportunity to include their stories and their ideas in the final artwork. Jar Conanina, the People's Acorn will now stand in Oris and Uthra as a permanent testament of what happened on our shared journey towards the Republic, where we all have a place and of which we can all feel proud. I just want to say a very warm congratulations to Rachel because today was my first day actually seeing the acorn in situ and it is truly beautiful. It all came back to me again, the energy and the fun of the project. From the very beginning there was nothing but enthusiasm and Rachel and I were very, very committed to going into the schools and working with the children and we got such great feedback from them. This has been for the honour my initial inspiration for the people's acorn was this acorn, the seed of our national tree, the Cecil Oak, the Kirkus Petraea. A seed, in many ways, is like a time capsule in nature that carries both its history and its future. This sculpture is not an empty bronze shell, but now houses so many memories and wishes across two generations. It has been a great privilege to have worked with people who so willingly shared their personal thoughts and memories about the world, the environment, their families, their hopes and their dreams. I feel honoured and privileged to have, have it in a location in such a beautiful surroundings. I truly hope it will endure and be enjoyed as a place to reflect well into the future. Thank you.